what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now in this world? Today, I'm just going to jump right into talking about letting go, especially when you have anxiety. This is going to help you so much. If you're like me, you have anxiety, perhaps it's expressed in your life by being a super planner, hyper organized, needing to know the details of everything, planning your life six months in advance to six years to 60 years in advance and feeling like this is providing you some sort of control over your life. But if anything has taught us in the past two years is we have absolutely zero control of the outcome for a lot of stuff that goes on in our lives. If you follow the news for British Columbia, where I live in Canada, we've had insane forest fires, the worst I think we've had historically. We've had um, one of the biggest heat waves over the summertime. And then now we've had incredible flooding, which has been absolutely devastating, especially um, my family lives in the areas where it's been really affected. And, you know, I grew up in, in the areas where it's flooded and it's just reminding me today about how little control I really have over a lot of what happens. So something that's been really helping me get through um, these types of events that happen in life, which will always happen. There's always going to be something that's going to happen that's going to skew and just cut through, explode, implode, throw a grenade in the plan that you had. And what causes us so much stress, anxiety, depression, feelings of loss, grief, absolute despair, a lot of times is because we have expectations of how something's gonna go and when it doesn't go that way or if it goes completely sideways, all that expectation we had in a, in a future and an idea and a concept of how things were supposed to go, it never existed, that plan never happened. Yet, because we're so fixated on it, when it doesn't happen, we experience, it's just such a bigger blow. One example I will give you of this is, I mean, there's so many examples, uh, being evicted. <laughs> That's happened to me recently. Global crisis, breakups, divorce, you lose a friend, health crisis, sickness. The list goes on of things that can happen in our lives that are unexpected, that we have no control over and devastate us. So what has been helping get me through a few of these events that have been going on is coming to the acceptance and the realization and the understanding that I have no control over the situation and whatever future I had imagined, whichever way I thought things were supposed to go, it's never existed. It wasn't real, it was all created in my mind. It was like a best case scenario that I painted in my mind and then I held on to it like it was real, like it was going to happen, like it should happen, like it's meant to happen. And when things happen in life that have affected that plan, the reality is that it never happened. It's never existed. And there's no reason why I should have believed that that's the course that life was going to take. What's meant to happen is happening. And all we really do have control over is the right here and now, the present. A lot of this for me has come from the training and teaching that I've experienced through yoga as well as meditation, journaling, any kind of like self-help stuff that I've, any books I've read, anything like that, a lot of it always redirects me to come back to the present. And anxiety is something that lives in the future or the past. We have anxiety and, and guilt and shame over, over past mistakes that we've made, experiences we've had, things that have happened to us, and we bring that into the present. And then we also, plan ahead and look into the future and all the things that we want to happen when they don't happen then that causes grief and loss and sadness and anger and frustration but that stuff hasn't ever happened yet either i hope this is making sense but what i'm really trying to say is that we really do only have the present moment and when disaster happens when bad news comes our way um for me anyways i'm just accepting it in this present moment and being like this is what's happening this is life and the next hour the next day the next week that's how it's supposed to happen that is what is going to happen and all i can do is navigate the here and now i'll give you some more examples when i got divorced or any breakup that i've had 
I definitely felt so much sadness, grief, and loss, but it was for the future that I had imagined that I was going to have with those people, the future that never happened. And I was more so grieving that than I was the relationship because it was meant to end. It wasn't in a good place, neither party was happy, and it ended for a reason. And then you go through the grieving process of the future that you had plotted all out for that relationship. Being evicted, I'm grieving the loss of a plan that I had for how our future was going to look in the place we are now. But that future never has happened either. My future is wherever it's gonna be when I go to the next place. With the flooding that's happening right now in my province, I'm grieving the loss of the plans that I had to visit family and friends. I'm grieving that the perfectly stable lives that my, I want my family and friends to have in their homes and feel safe and all that stuff, but that's just not what is. What is is that there are floods happening. What is is that Mother Nature is a powerful force, more powerful than any of us, and we have to surrender to that. And all we can do is take the next steps when something like this happens and help where we can and provide support where we can. And just at the end of the day, you just have to accept what is and what is is right now. I just wanted to share this because I feel like it's really been helping me process a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life. And so if you're going through something similar or you're experiencing a loss or you're experiencing um, a big change that you didn't expect, that's really put your life into like an upheaval. Hopefully, maybe this can help you just focus on being in the present moment, taking it day by day, minute by minute sometimes. And that's all we can do. I'm starting to see now that the art of life, the perhaps purpose of life, yes, I've, I've figured out the purpose of life. <laughs> the purpose of life is to become as present as you can because all the moments that are happening right now, those are really happening. Being present with what's happening now, being present with the relationships, the people in your life, that's where the living is happening. I've spent, trust me, so much of my life in the future. I feel safer there. I feel safer in my planned out scheduled future and I kind of almost shut off being present. I really found it uncomfortable to be present. I used to hate doing yoga. I hated meditation. I didn't like those things or even journaling because it forced me to become present with my own feelings and emotions and it was easier to just focus on creating a more perfect experience in the future than kind of living in the uncomfortable experience that was now. But now that I'm spending more and more time in the present moment, it's actually become a freeing thing. I feel a weight lifted off my shoulders because, because I don't have these expectations of what this moment should be. It just is what it is. You know, if I'm not getting along with this person or I did bad on that test or uh, I had a bad day at work, I can just leave it and then also be in the next moment. Like life just keeps moving along. You know the old saying, this too shall pass. We just kind of have to be wherever we are in life. And those, the good moments, the happy moments, the sad moments, the scary moments, they're all part of what makes a lived experience. So just as much as these hard times exist, so do the good times and they all just continue to pass along and all we can do is try and be as present as we can while we're here. That's pretty much all that I wanted to say about that. I hope that this helps you. It has been helping me just becoming more and more present and just lowering the expectations of what anything's supposed to be. When we start clinging to what's supposed to be and what how life is supposed to be, we miss out on what life is. And life is chaotic, unprecedented, unpredictable, messy, painful, happy, joyful, exciting, thrilling, it's all of those things. When we become more present in our experience and just connect with what's, what's really around us, that's how we can feel more solid, more connected, more grounded and, and alive. So I hope this helps. That's all I have to say. I hope this helps. It's helping me. I hope it made sense too. That's another part, but that's it for now. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.